Hi guys, I'm Salem Elise, and you are watching my most requested live Ask Anything chat. My current single is called Mad at Disney. Thanks to Romeo and iHeartRadio for having me on to answer your questions. So, Durga from Singapore asked, who is your favorite Disney prince and princess? So, my favorite Disney princess has to be Merida from Brave, because I think she's a total badass. Um, yeah, she's super cool. She, you know, knows how to use a bow and arrow. She fights all of her own battles. She's awesome. So, that's my favorite princess. Favorite prince? So, he's not really a prince, but my favorite, like, male Disney character is Milo from Atlantis. I guess he kind of becomes a king at the end, so kind of counts. Yeah, he looks exactly like all of the boys that broke my heart in the past, so I like Milo. <laughs> um, Aaron from Milford, Connecticut asked, when was the first time you heard yourself on the radio? So I've actually never heard myself on the radio. I've never been in the car when Mad at Disney's playing. It's really funny too, because I purposely drive around for like at least 30 minutes a day with radio stations on that I know play Mad at Disney, just waiting and never once, I've actually never heard the song in the wild anywhere other than, you know, on TikTok. And I barely hear it on my For You page. I guess I'm not the target audience for my own song, which is very funny, but one day, hopefully, maybe iHeartRadio. <laughs> Carol from Marco Island, Florida asked, what are some practices you do to stay in tune with yourself? That's a very good question. I'm a super morning person. I get up at like 6.30 a.m. most days. Um, it doesn't help that Bowie also wakes up around 6.30 and barks at me until I feed him. But I feel like mornings are kind of my time to really check in with myself and just take some me time. Um, I like to use my stationary bike in the morning for like 30 minutes, 45 minutes. Uh, yeah, that's kind of my, kind of my me time. Jimena from Peru says, I love your music, congratulations. Mad at Disney reflects the truth in life. Oh, thank you. <laughs> my question is, what do you do in your free time other than sing? So I really don't do much other than singing and writing songs. I'm not gonna lie. Um, yeah, I get up and I play with my animals. So I guess that I feed a little cow, I take Bowie for a walk, hang out with them for a little bit, um, get ready. And then I usually just start my day out with, you know, some interviews and then I have a songwriting session. And then by the end of that, I'm super tired. So I open a bottle of wine or, you know, make some hot chocolate and watch Netflix. <laughs> so I really don't do too much, but I definitely want to try and find a hobby. Um, I've been trying out things in quarantine and I've realized that I'm actually not good at really anything but making music. I've tried cooking, but I still burn everything or I just don't season it properly. I've tried painting, drawing, um, a whole number of things. But yeah, music is what I'm sticking with. <laughs> Lisa from Cincinnati, Ohio says, what else are you mad at, LOL? So I was quite mad at Donald Trump, but now I'm very happy because Joe Biden has won the election. Um, I made a little parody called Mad at Donald where I flipped Disney um, and tried to encourage people to vote and we did it. I'm very proud of America at the moment. Um, what else am I mad at? Let me think. I'm mad at people that don't wear masks in public because coronavirus still very much exists and yeah, you need to still be safe. Wear a mask, please. What else am I mad at? Oh, my biggest pet peeve is when you're in an elevator and the elevator opens and you're about to get off but someone walks in without checking to see if someone's in the elevator, then you kind of bump and it's super awkward. Yeah, I'm mad at those people. <laughs> Haley from Ocean View, New Jersey asks, did you ever think that your song was going to become this viral? By the way, it's an amazing song. Thank you so much, Haley. And no, oh my goodness, no. Never in a million years did I think any of my songs would become this viral. Um, yeah, this is, you know, completely surpassed my wildest expectations and I'm so, so grateful. It is the most pleasant surprise. 
Gemma from Melbourne, Australia said, what was your inspiration to write Mad at Disney? So I think that I've been pretty mad at Disney um, for a very long time. My parents actually sent me one of my first performance videos the other day, and it was when I was nine years old. Um, and I was at Blue Bear Music School, which was like this little after school program in San Francisco. I took my first songwriting lessons there from Bonnie Hayes. Um, I think she was actually in the video playing bass, which is amazing. She's iconic. Um, but anyways, what I was singing was an original, one of the first full songs I'd written. And the lyrics were kind of along the lines of, um, I don't need a prince to break the spell, I'll do it myself. Rapunzel, don't let down your hair, there ain't no prince waiting there. Um, fairy tales don't always leave their pages. So it was very Mad at Disney-esque. <laughs> so I think that was kind of the precursor. Um, I subconsciously was inspired by that. But yeah, in the session, Jason Haas, which was one of the co-writers and co-producers, said he was mad at Disney, just in conversation, and I had never heard the phrase before. And Ben Dick and I kind of looked at each other and we were like, huh, no one's really ever been mad at Disney. That's interesting. And then I kind of thought of all the reasons that I was mad at Disney. Um, you know, all the false expectations of love and the whole princess stereotype where the female is the damsel in distress. Super not cool. So yeah, a lot of things. <laughs> Jane from Philadelphia asks, do you remember your first cell phone? Yes, I got my first cell phone super early on. I was nine years old. Um, I think I was in first grade and I got it because I was going to an away camp. Um, I'm from Mill Valley, which is right by San Francisco. And I was going to a camp in Angel Island where you had to take the ferry. And my parents were super, super scared to send me to this camp where I had to, you know, take a boat and I was gone for the whole day. Um, so they got me a flip phone so they could track me as well as text me. The only thing the phone could do was text and the only numbers I had on my phone were my parents. Um, and I could call and there was one game. It was like a honeycomb game where there was a bear and he would just run along and jump and try and collect the honeycombs. But yeah, I felt very cool for having a phone at age nine. <laughs> Denise from Johns Creek, Georgia says, how do you show your loved ones that you're someone they can lean on? Oh, that's such a sweet question. I love that. Um, I guess check in with them. One good thing about quarantine for me has been that um, I've been able to talk with my family more than ever. I feel like being in quarantine has kind of put my priorities in check and really showed me the things that actually matter versus, you know, the stuff that you can kind of sacrifice. Um, so I've been having a lot of family Zoom calls, which has been amazing, where, you know, my family across the US, because a lot of them live back east in Boston and New Jersey, and my parents in San Francisco, we all hop on a Zoom and we do like a little cocktail hour um, or, you know, coffee hour, depending on what time it is, and kind of just all catch up and it's really nice. So I'd say, yeah, just, you know, reach out to your loved ones and tell them that you're there for them and you want to check in. Thanks again for watching my Ask Anything chat with Romeo and Most Requested Live. My current song is called Mad at Disney. Thank you for all the support on this song. Stay safe and healthy. See you next time.